Hello and welcome everybody, I'm One Proud Bavarian and this is Imperator Rome and we are still here as the Roman Republic now. How long will we remain as the Roman Republic? I can't tell you, it's, it's a difficult thing and I honestly like to go with the flow a bit. I like to go with the flow in these games where I'm kind of like, you know, maybe we're going to explore the alleyways of a Republic if, or of a dictatorship if there is a pathway of that. If there is a character that would actually go through with this, that is ruthless enough to push through. And Gnaeus Flavius so far has by far been the most ruthless ruler that we had. At least at this point. Now, you know, maybe the next ruler, he currently is uh, supposed to be a populist. Maybe the next ruler will be not as inspired to become a dictator. Maybe he will be even more inspired to become a dictator. I can't tell you. So I want to put that question out of your mind for the time being. Let's instead take a look at all of these governor policies. Because I want to take a look at everything. All of those are nice. Yep, converting them both in religion and culture. Some culture over here. I don't know how necessary it really is. Especially over here as well, because those people aren't really unruly as it is. You can see that everybody except in the newly conquered territories are very, very happy with our rule. They uh, at least, you know, kind of have, have resigned themselves to being happy about it, I guess. So we're doing fairly well. We have gathered a mass of slaves in our capital, which is just tremendous. Utterly, utterly ridiculous how many people we have over there. The way I see it, the next war has to be for Sicily. For if we control Sicily, we will be in a position to actually go towards Carthage, to go towards um, Iberia, and we will be in a position that this is an entirely safe sea. Now that is something that played a big role for the Romans, keeping the sea directly surrounding all of their routes very, very close. And even when they went over to Iberia to essentially get all of the gold from the mines over there, they did so in the knowledge that their ships would be safe on their return to the mainland or, you know, to the to the boot. So the way I see it, I'm very much interested in getting all of this under our control. Now this will be quite the intense war. As you can see here, they are uh, allied to Eponion. We're going to be looking at uh, an alliance of two quite powerful people, but at the end of the day, I do believe that we can actually pull through here, and I think we're going to pull through in the following fashion. I'm going to pick the two of you up. I want to send you down here, respectively. And we're going to siege this town first, so I need one here and then one maybe over there. It doesn't really matter to me. I'm going to send you right there. And then I'm going to pick these two people. And they are going to go on a boat. And on that boat, they're going to find happiness and maybe a long sunset. But primarily, we're going to send them on a boat here. And we're going to drop them off in the west. Off camera, I looked at this a bit. And we have a heavily, heavily, heavily reinforced eastern side of Sicily. Which is interesting because we can penetrate it indeed, we can you know, take these down one by one, but if we give them a bit of trouble in the west, maybe we can split their armies and make it so that they have zero ch uh, chances against us. They only have 18 divisions as of right now, that is perfectly fine, and I say divisions, I clearly don't mean divisions, but you know, it's just habit at this point. Uh, I think we're fine with a negative balance, I could go with mercs, I don't want to though, I want to do this on our own. I want to do the... Oh, assassinate, co assassinate cost. That's quite nice. I want to do this under the predicament that we will be proper carriers of justice. I will carry out whatever needs to be carried out. So, um, I will take you as the transport ship and then I will give you a new commander. You betrayed me. You will never get a drop again. I will hand it over to Aulus Verginius. And he's going to get the job of just essentially hunting down enemy fleets. Uh, for that purpose, I'm also going to activate ramming tactics, making it so that offensive maneuvers will be more successful. And seeing as he will primarily do something offensive, you know, I think that's okay. Um, I also thought about it. Once we have Sicily, I would love to get a bit of a road network going over here. Just like, you know, a road south, a road north. And, you know, just start with that. Because we do need quicker movement just in general. And we can't always utilize the navy. I would love to, but sometimes you just got to call it, you know, you got to say this is just the way where we are, This you got to call it today, that's just the way it is. And I'm excited because I am really looking forward towards this war, it's actually a properly planned one, you know, I don't always do those, sometimes I get a bit lazy, but this one I thought about and I was like, you know what, this is how we do it. Do I have a claim on them already? I do not believe that I do, and indeed I don't. So let's just get a claim on uh, maybe the west even, what about... Sicania. Sure, let's get a claim on the west because we are going to attack 
that exact west right over there. And I'm gonna get all of you on a boat. And we have a huge fleet, by the way, if you hadn't noticed. <laughs> a tremendously huge fleet. I'm gonna get you over here, and then we're gonna declare the war right away. Are you... what are you doing? Nothing. Interesting. Oh, and there are their troops! We can strike them where they stand. Let's take Sicania. It is time, and we are no longer importing grain. Uh, probably want to change that back to importing grain again. And we don't even have to import it from an external source. And once we have Sicily, Sicily was, historically speaking, before Carthage and before Egypt became the bread chain. What, what is the English word here? The grain... I don't know, the, the grain-like hoarding area, whatever, dude. <laughs> speaking is a tough thing. Uh, but before that happened, the Sicily was used as just that. So I think taking this makes a lot of sense. And Lucius Volumnius Violens wants to uh, discipline his soldiers in a new way by, you know, essentially making so their uniform has something... I think it's the uniform, right? A particular form of service reward. There you go, yeah. And I think I'm okay with that, actually. I'm gonna go ahead and say, okay, you do it. By, uh, by the way, whoever is best of these generals, whoever leaves most of the mark here, for example, uh, Proculus Papirius Corsa is gonna destroy these 6k and then start sieging this, but whoever is the best will get the triumph. Only one of them can get it. You have to remember this. And in this case, Aulus Junius Bubulcus himself is uh, leading the army right here. Now that is, of course, a very, very strong victory. That Oh, we wiped them. We didn't just defeat them. We actually just wiped them. That is crazy. Now, we did also wipe those. So, I mean, that's outrageous. That's crazy. Seriously, that is actually crazy. We just annihilated them. In every way possible. We also just deleted a navy over there, as we, you know, as we should. That's our job, kind of. And look at all these slaves we're gathering. I can't remember. Do we have... We don't have any slave capture thing, actually. They are over here. It's really, really good to get. But this was just a huge, I guess, you know, if you want to call it a slave harvest, I suppose. Oh, they already are back to 19 cohorts. Where the fuck did you get those from? Are you crazy? How does that even... Like, seriously, how does that happen, dude? Won yet another battle. They will not be able to fend us off. I don't see it at all. Alright, you go up here. Beat those up. Thank you very much. I'm, I'm keeping this zoom level, by the way, so that I can see both fronts. I want to see everything that is going on. And we just sank their, their ships again. It's just... Dude, we are the dominant force. <laughs> the dominant force. Our power knows no bounds. That's that's the way I see it. What I would really love is just better sieging in general. We need some we need some more skills in that regard, I would argue. Alright, so the way I see it, I'm gonna send you over here. They have 33 now, so we really want to keep in mind where they are. A cousin belonging to one of the lesser breach, uh, branches of the Flavii family has become embroiled in a scandal at court. According to eyewitnesses, the youth managed to publicly shame himself in an incident involving a common soldier and a malicious letter. Let the family Flavii handle it. Uh, they lose a bit of prestige, or we could pay money for it. I'm gonna just lose that prestige, that's okay. This is not a dynasty. We have to remember that. This is just not a dynasty. Where are their troops, I wonder? Where is Syracuse? Shared opinions. So this dude, um, you know, the military faction wants to cooperate with us. He's currently also a general. Uh, we could owe them one more favor. A uh, favor. I could also just pay them off. Mm. We'll increase this value by one. We stand united. I think we're just going to say we stand united. I have no problem with the military faction, you know, trying to get some influence in government. Who doesn't want to have some influence in government? I mean, let's just be honest here, you know. Let's not kid ourselves. I want to wait here, by the way. I don't want to split these armies up. I fear that that may be our doom. If I ever split these armies up, we might be looking at a future that is way more gloomy than... Oh, and there they are. This is what I was looking for. And they're still coming in. I think we're going to be able to win this one just fine. They do have elephants, though, and that is, that is tough. But we are tearing them apart. We're making them all rout, except the elephants. But once the elephants are gone, and there's no more, there's no more ele elephants go uh, coming. This is beautiful. Are those elephants? No elephants. All right, okay. I think we can do this. Maybe. Doesn't look like it. Well, fuck. They all have low morale, of course, and there's more and more coming. That's just a tremendous number of people coming. 
Uh, we didn't siege this down quite yet. I really want to siege it down. I want to finish that, please. Let's get additional discipline here so that they may fight better and tear them apart. But I think our horses are going to clear out the numbers here. And with that additional discipline, of course, we are a bit ahead here. But yeah, that's a victory. A close one. A close, very, very close victory. But it is a victory. No, I'm never going to... Never gonna say no to a victory at the end of the day. I mean, what do you want me to say there? That I don't want it? Ridiculous. Don't be ridiculous. Monthly general loyalty, I'll take it, yeah. This was a huge fight. I think this was the fight of this war. And it was commanded... It was commanded by you, right? Who is more popularity here? 21, 10? Yeah, definitely commanded by you. Roculus Papirius Corso. He may be the one that we give the triumph to. Gotta make wise choices when it comes to the triumphs, quite honestly. Oh, and they're walking right into me. Wait, no, those are others. Are you actually gonna halt here? I wanna know. I wanna challenge them. Wherever they end, I will challenge them. I will fight them. I will utterly destroy them. We still have 20k sitting over there. This is a victory. Right here. This is what a victory looks like. There you go. We wiped them. Beautiful. You don't even need to stand here, mate. That's okay. Ooh, man, this could have uh, been a bit worse, I'll tell you straight up. I mean, you know, this could have gone places in a negative sense. And now they're going to walk into us. We're going to just destroy them there as well. Gorgeous. Love it. Take this down and we will be in a wonderful position. Sicily will be ours. No doubt. I mean, has there ever been any doubt? The grass is greener. The cities of Nepeta and Narnia. <laughs> There's a joke in there that I'm not going to make. Have been engaged in a war of words, each claiming to be more righteous, powerful and zealous than the other. Normally, such petty bickering would be beneath our interest, but in this case, the two settlements have begun preparing for conflict. Right, and now everybody's preparing to join the army. I welcome this movement, uh, on my part. Wait, what are you- Oh, it's, there's a fort here. Right, I understand. Alright, here we are. Take it all down. I'm gonna take you down in the meantime. Oh, they're actually walking into me, these fools. If Lucius Volumnius, if he has a wonderful, a really good battle here, I might give him the triumph. Because sometimes in Rome especially, yeah, he's just, his genius is tearing it apart. I'm going to give it to him. Sometimes, uh, whoever decides the war got the triumph and it made people mad like crazy. It actually made them, it was a, a really significant point of contention where they essentially felt like they were being mistreated on an incredibly serious level. Primarily, of course, because, well, you know, they were. Fugitives cross the borders. What is going on here? Fe fleeing the dreadful war with Dizionia, a number of important dignitaries have managed to escape to our land, hoping to find refuge. It's... who are you? You're a Lib Libonian Hellenic. I kind of am okay with them. I think you want to welcome them. Lucius Curiatius, Aurelius and Curiatius. Yeah. What are you? Are you... They are Hellenic, but I'm still gonna accept them. Maybe one day we'll bring them back to their old lands. And it will all be united again under Rome, of course. Don't be ridiculous, darling. Alright, let's take him out right here. We can probably stack wipe this army. Not quite the stack wipe that I was hoping for. But they're not really fleeing anymore, uh, anywhere anymore. So this seems very, very... Yeah, we now we wiped him. Alright, that's a wipe and a half for sure. I'm gonna go all the way around and beat up these 7.2k. I think that's a really good choice. And with that, we are practically done. The war will be over in just a minute. We have won. Yet again. Nah, I mean Proculus Papirius, you know, maybe, but... He just wiped the stack as well. I think he's going to get the triumph. One, I, yeah, I'm going to give it to him. Lucius Volumnius Violens, he's also the party leader. To point that out, it will make him very, very famous. But maybe that's just what we need, you know? I'm not saying the Republic doesn't need that. Oh, and Syracuse has fallen to us. So we're just waiting for this now. Which is okay. I'm going to take all of this down, of course. Let's take this down as well. Beautiful. And they're done. Yeah. The Agatocles... Is this still the original? No, this is a different Agatocles. Ah, it's just the grandchild. They are done. They have been utterly destroyed in this war. 
And we have, have like this was actually just a genius move on behalf of our generals to land in the west. I'm gonna take the starting experience, I guess. It's not that significant, but none of those that I saw there were truly significant. But I'm definitely going to bring all of this under our control. Sicily will be ours. I mean, what else can I say, really? You're, you're looking at it. I'm succeeding with it, you know. I'm just gonna give you the command to do this right now. There you go. Let's take care of it, mate. Oh, they already wiped him. That's okay. He's gonna walk back and forth and be like, why, why are we doing this? For what purpose? Oh, this is great. We're actually taking Sicily over in a very, very effective manner here. That's just like, couldn't, couldn't actually have been quicker, I'll be honest with you. Could not have been quicker, really. And that's, that's the thing. Syracuse, the capital of Siculia. As the largest city in the province of Siculia, Syracuse plans an essential role in controlling the area. By introducing their population to Roman culture and assimilating some of them with our own ways, we would turn them to our cause and make sure the province will stay loyal as we continue our expansion in the future. Good, more Romans, or the Sicilian city will never be properly Roman. I will make them Roman, sure. Conquest of Syracuse, uh, I will just, I think I'm just gonna not do anything to it, really. I wanna kill those Roman freemen, are you crazy? There you go. What are we gonna do to their elite? We're gonna give them no quarter, but I would rather just get rid of them this way so to push down the uh, aggressive expansion at least a little bit. This was a huge expansion that we just kind of proceeded with over there. We're also negative now on civic power, that's just amazing. I'm gonna make it so that all of you are gonna be assimilated and whatnot because I actually need you to so that I can keep colonizing Corsica. And now we should be able to, no? Wait, really? Am I okay? Shouldn't this now be possible? Guess I'm gonna promote you or something? Oh, I'm an idiot. I didn't even read the fucking tooltip. <laughs> I'm just missing some power, that's okay. Um, what I would love to do this episode is kind of finish off Seculia as well. So that we properly own all of this. And I'm not sure, maybe the next episode, we're gonna be looking at, and maybe even this episode, but I doubt it, but we might be looking at clearing this out. Or at actually entering the Iberian market. It's one of the two, in my opinion, that we should consider doing. Now... Which one exactly? I'll be honest with you, I don't know. It's it's a tough call. It's a tough call in so far as, uh, you know, I just don't know what to tell you. I have no idea. What's the governor policies here? It's all just acquisition, acquisition of wealth. And they are actually losing some loyalty. Oh yeah, this, this is right. What I wanted to do, because we have a shitload of these religious power points, is this. I'm gonna convert all of Sicily. Convert them, boys. Get the Carthaginians out of here. We're gonna keep them very, very happy, and like this, we should just have a great time with this, with this province, just in general. No rebellion growing over here, hopefully. Uh, the region, by the way, ruled by Secundus and Peronius Sophus. Uh, did I? Wait a minute. Did I hold? It was you? I'm gonna hold the triumph. Him. There you go. Beautiful. I almost forgot about it. And only almost. And I don't know, maybe that is gonna push him up, you know? He is a very, very famous man now. Lucius Volumnius Violens, Marcus Valerius Corvus. Uh, he's a censor and likely next consul, huh? Interesting. But he's also dying, so he doesn't... Uh, he's not actually dying, like, not physically right now. Tough one. I could definitely see Lucius uh, catch up, but you never know, really. You never know until it all happens, you know, until it all goes wrong and all right. But with all that being said, let's just bump our economy back to where it was before, and we are making mad money. I think we could physically, you know, we would just be able to actually go ahead and have more troops even, but I think it is good the way it is. The fickle seas can bring ruin or prosperity to many locales, and the city of Regium appears to be reaping the rewards of a particularly good trading season this year. Let us hope this good fortune lasts. Beautiful. I appreciate it. Look at us. What a, what a gorgeous... I, I, hate, I still hate this, I'll be honest with you. The Ibazim story still kind of ticks me off, but just look at us. Absolutely gorgeous. And Carthage is in a pitiful, pitiful state. 
I almost think we could even go for them next, but I don't want to. Here's what we're going to do is, we're going to go ahead and as I said, either take this out or we're going to take some here up because that is what they did historically. I want to point that out. I really like that historical growth as well. I like it as a, you know, on paper. Oh, I need 20 for one colonization. Don't be ridiculous. There you go. Uh, we're taking all of Corsica, of course. You know, how could I ever, you know, say no to that idea? Dominant cut is not Roman. I just need some more power. And then maybe we can even take all of Corsica. I would be extraordinarily happy. I'll be honest with you. Do it. The art of the deal. Members of the mercantile faction, right. They keep doing this. Where they just are like, hey, give me money, mate. And we're going to back you. Things just like, I don't really care for your backing. But I'm still going to do it. You know, it's nice to have the support there. I mean, maybe we could even actually do something with it. <laughs> maybe we could actually do something with it. I'm gonna go ahead and convert everybody here. Why specifically there? Well, I primarily just wanna make sure that I will be in a position to settle the next and last part of Corsica. And that should be the case right now. Oh, not enough people here. So we have, yeah, nine people. Let's migrate one of you over. Oh, we just don't have the points. Da -da -da -da. Okay, in a second you're gonna be done with that anyway. How's Rome doing? Can I build something new? We have so many goddamn slaves. It's just crazy. Let's build some more granaries. Get them to be happy here. You know, somebody has to make them happy at the end of the day. But look at us. Rome looks absolutely astonishingly gorgeous. What a beautiful country. I'm going to take out the rest of Sicily and I... I don't know, man. Maybe we want to go for the north. Maybe we want to go for, for Spain. Ah, uh, it's a tough choice. It, it really is. How are we doing technology-wise? We're going to soon tech up. But our ratio, of course, being way worse than what we had, for example, when we were Mas uh, when we were Sparta, or our Sparta in the other playthrough. Um, we have expanded way stronger, though. That is something that I do want to point out. We're much, much bigger than what we were or are at this point uh, in Sparta. Quite the significant difference, if you ask me. I think I'm gonna go for it right now. Let's go. Let's go, boys. I'm ready. I am more ready than I ever was ready before. And we're gonna have a huge battle here, of course. You know, as you do. There are that many... Tr oh, there are 41 cohorts. Are you crazy? What world? I'm an idiot. I am actually the biggest moron that you have ever seen. Yeah, don't do that, actually. Oh, maybe... And I want to exchange these two. Sorry, my bad. <laughs> uh, I'm going to send Lucius Volumnius Violence, sure. He already was... Uh, wasn't he already... Was, did I just give him his own army back? I think so. Decius Julius Libo. You know what? You're, you're out of here. Get out of here. Lucius Cornelius Scipio can try to prove himself. And... I kind of want to... You know what, Kaelos? I'm going to give you another chance. Maybe maybe we're going to be able to do it. I don't know. You tell me, mate. You tell me. Let's reorganize these so they can gather their shit quicker. Yo, look at our trading. This is crazy. Look at this. Are you seeing this? That's crazy. Seriously crazy. Alright, and I think we're going to go in right now. Actually, you know what? Let's just keep doing this. If they're gonna attack me, I think I can guard them off here. But what we really want, in my opinion, is... If I have to go around like this, go... Oh, we don't want to do this anymore. I think we have to fight him over there. Yeah, look at him. I think we can I can I think we can get him here. We're crushing them here in the first fight. Kaelos Funius, not in the spotlight anymore ever since he betrayed us. But now given another chance, and it's a suicide mission. Let's not beat around the bush uh, the bush. This is, without a doubt, a suicide mission. But of course the other legions are not going to leave him to die. But I don't think he would oh wow, he would actually totally win this. He's gonna be back in in good grace, I suppose. It's just crazy. That's unexpected. I did I didn't see him win it. I'll be honest with you. Didn't see it. I'm gonna keep you here close by. 
Martial advance, very, very nice. Just what we needed. The Gallic power of Saluvia. That's okay. There you go, the first one has fallen. Scandal. Gnaeus Julius Libo and Laetoria Secunda. And Bad Noir Balit is the one that got shafted. This is none of our business. It's another, it's always the Julii. The Julii makes so much, so many problems. Fell in battle and you know, it's just like... Anyway, look at these eyes. I love how these eyes actually went through the entire family. Are you seeing this? That's really cool. That's really cool. Um, I don't think I'm gonna bother intervening here. I don't, I don't see it. We've won this siege, which is very, very nice. Can actually march in now. How many are there? 27k. Let's beat him up. Let's do it, boys. Sure. I'll wait here. Civic advance. We can take a military tradition. I'm going to take build military road ability. Sure. Roman roads. If you don't take that, you're a coward. What do you mean you want to take something useful? Absolutely not. Coward. What are you talking about? And they are coming for him. But Legion 5 will be able to get in the way. Whatever happened to Legion 3, am I right? Don't ask for them. It's gonna get you into trouble. Oh, they're trying to push further in here. Interesting. Oh, there they come. And in we go. We arrived so well in time. Kaelus Funius, you know, he does deserve praise. After this war, he was... Without a doubt, the one to kind of make it, you know, to make all of this happen. Oh, let's stay here. Wow. I, I don't know what to say. I really didn't think he would make this big a difference, but he really does make this big a difference. Uh, it's interesting to see, but I think he's back in good graces. Absolutely, yeah. I don't even have the power to do that. Uh, still waiting for this, by the way, but here we go. Beautiful. Now we own all of those islands. We've done it. We have done it. Come on, just take everything, please. What's the problem, mate? What is the problem, indeed? They just captured so many. Are you insane? But the siege is now over. And now, let me ask. Can I take all of it? No. But soon. Soon I will be able to finally do it. They are capturing so much shit. I'm mad. Are you? Really? Did you... what? Did you think that's a good idea? Oh, they have 40... Jesus. The Gauls are trying to invade us, yet again, as they've done so many decades and generations ago. Alright, the war with Seculia will end here in this video in a second, and I guess our next target won't be Iberia. It will be up here. And I will be ready to take care of exactly that target. Don't you worry about it. I just want to take you... Ah, oh, come on, dude. We're gonna be up there, and I'm gonna I'm gonna go up there right now. Actually, I'm gonna recruit you. Thank you very much. You can go over there. What I really care about is who else did they call? Is it only them? No way, right? That's too easy. No way. Can I finish this war now? Absolutely not. Okay, well. Why don't you just go over there, and I move over here? Right, we just destroyed him there, beautiful. Also destroyed. Um, gonna send you over there. I don't really need you over here anymore now that I look at it. One of you can stay. And this one will be over in a second. And then we will be looking at this. And they did call in some enemies. There you go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know if we want to cross the Alps here. It's a bit of a... Oh. This is actually this one. Huh? Oh, I would love to take this. I'll be honest with you. They are so scattered. I don't know what they, what they were thinking. Here. So incredibly scattered. But here you go. It's finally all ours. Good. More Romans. Of course, more Romans. Make them all Romans. 
Every day of the week, baby. Every day of the week. I mean, we're definitely going to take them out over here. The question is just, I guess, next episode, I guess, we will just launch an expedition over here. From Sicily, the troops may as well just go over there, right? Why wouldn't they? I think we can take these out. Easy money. And we don't have any manpower, but I think we're going to be fine. I will see you in the next episode as Rome is growing. Thank you for watching, and see you later, alligator.